Good evening. I am Scipio, the Cardboard Gambler, and today I finally got a hold of a Mystery Booster. I actually bought the last one he had. He bought 10 boxes. I got off work a little bit early, and I was able to pick up the last box. This guy has uh, 24 packs in it, and I can't wait to get it cracking. This thing is absolutely loaded. Um, for all you guys that like to uh, open and flip singles, this is your weekend to make that money. For sure, the expected value is uh, insane right now. And, um, there's a lot of cards if you like to play EDH, if you like to play this just for fun and to uh, draft. But uh, I can't wait to get the Kraken into this guy. I've already heard reports that uh, Mana Crypt is the card that you want to get um, but it's like super hard to get so we're obviously gonna try to go get ourselves a mana crypt that is the card that i want to get so we'll start off with this guy probably gonna go over the first couple of con commons uh really fast this is a really big set i don't want to take too much of you guys time but I do know that there's uh, there's some good commons in here. Lots of uh, playables. Tons of value. Wild Nacatl. Chromatic Lantern. Starting off. And I got a Foil Rare. Rat Rogue. Stab Whisker. And a Chromatic Lantern. Which is some pretty good uh, EDH bait. I'll put you in the happy land for now. I'm going to have a heck of a time going through these commons and uncommons. But uh, I can't wait. This is what it's all about. Definitely got some uh, good stuff in here. That uh, I'm not seeing just yet. <laughs> Pyromancer. And I've got a Mythic. Marin of the Clad Neltoth. This was a card that was worth some pretty decent money. And a Conspiracy Foil. So I'm not sure. Is there a foil in every single pack? Guess I'm about to find out. I do you know some of those older like Conspiracy Foils are really hard to get your hands on. So hopefully I can get some uh, good ones of that. Silvergill Adept. Thoughtcast. Innocent Blood saw a lot of play back in the day. Atlanta War Elves. And a Pestilence. Look at this old school art. I remember this card. And my rare is a little want want foil rare. There we go. I, just, I can't remember if this was part of the uh, dropship. If they included that one in the... Uh, the rat, year of the rat drop ship. I hope not. So I've already opened two foil rares. I hope, I hope that wasn't it. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of cards in this set. A lot, a lot of different cards. But let's see, from the cold Frexian Soul Gorger, so two rares, and I got another Grave Crawler. Wow. With a Shizo Death's Storehouse. That was quite an interesting pack. I will take it. I actually, in the corner, I like how that's foiled too. Very iconic art. I used to see a lot, a lot, a lot of play. Now I don't, I think it's pretty much like a commander only card. Charter Cores, Vapor Snag, I've done some things with. Knight's Whisper. Rancor, Quasi Pride Mage is a card that uh, saw a lot of play. Aestheticism with a foil leveler. Man, there is a lot of foil rares in here. Aestheticism is definitely a good EDH card. Night Hauler, not so much. <laughs> Can't win them all. I think I pulled four foil rares so far. It's a little uh, nutty, buddy. But I will take it. Even bulk. I will take 
foil rares every day of the week. But I didn't, um, honestly, I didn't think this uh, set was going to be worth opening or even trying. Dragon Mask, look at the old borders. Visions, I don't think it's worth a lot, but it's really cool. Tall Red with a foil guess Grimoire. For sure that's an EDH card. I didn't think this set was going to be good at all, and I was going to skip it. It had a low price point. But, like, man, just watching some of the openings and seeing, like, the expected value, like, I'm going for it. Very, very happy to come home with this guy. Hopefully I can rip something awesome and make an awesome video for you guys. And there is a mythic. Soren Markov, Planeswalker. I don't think there's too many Planeswalkers in this set. And I think and with a Torment of Hellfire with a... <laughs> Look at this pack. Holy moly's. This was a card that went up a lot when uh, Mox Amber was first previewed. There's definitely an EDHE card. Wow. I don't think there's a lot of uh, Planeswalkers in this set. So it's really hard to pull one. I think I've pulled like full, four or five full rares thus far. That makes me happy. Lots and lots of goodies in here. You know, I'm going to get greedy and still hoping for that Mana Crypt. Ewit, love the new art. Goblin Burrows. Mind Ripper from uh, Tempest. Man, I love these old, these old arts. And we got ourselves an Urza's Rage. Womp womp. Echoing Decay Foil. I'm going to have a time... Uh, I'm going to have a time going through these cards. And the set list is so giganormous. Dark Blast. Tarfire. There's a old Death Shadow card. Looks like I got the Elish Norn. There we go. There's the kind of cards you want to see with a Foil Fiery Gambit. There's an EDH card for you. That was a pack. That was a pack. I wasn't expecting to pull this many uh, foil rares out of it. I wonder if that's like regular what's supposed to happen or... I'll take it. I'm not complaining. Gush. Poor old Gush. This card is freaking broken. Stinkweed Eat. Got some uh, dredgers. So it looks like I got the dredge pack. Cold Steel Heart, there's a card, a good EDH card, and a Squirrel Wrangler is a rare. With Coat of Arms, wow. All oh, those Merfolk players, there we go. Man, tons of foil rares. That is like nutty, buddy. That is a good foil rare to have. That is a really good card to have, man. I can't wait to get another couple of these boxes. Just opening them is fun. I imagine the gameplay might be just as fun too to play. Manglehorn. Parish. Old Tempest card. Boom Pile. This is like my first uh, janky pack that I've had. So I'm about halfway done. At the halfway point. Uh... Opened a lot of goodies. I can't wait to go through them. Mystical teachings. Read the bones I did a lot of good stuff with. I actually don't mind that little symbol in the bottom corner. We dragon knots with the Oracle of Nectars. I don't think that's a good one. And that's some Mind Spring Reorix. It's like triple rare pack. But that was not one of the super good, awesome ones I was looking for. <clears throat> Let's see what we... If we can keep it rolling. Dread Return. There's a banned card. An 
Nature's Claim, Urban Evolutions, Nemesis of Reason as my rare. What a creepy looking art. I do love the block with the Rune Scar Demon and a foil patron of the moon. Another triple, so you can get like triple rare packs. Lots of foil rares. My uh, common uncommon pack was trying to fall over. All right. And this was a oldie bit goodie. This used to be a real powerhouse of a card. And Anger of the Gods. Gorilla Tactics. Anger is definitely one of those cards I've played a lot, but not not worth a ton. Looks like I've kind of stalled out just a bit. Come on, this is like, man, this really feels like gambling. I forgot uh, Dramonic Dread is in this set. It's probably the best uh, uncommon. This is a pretty good pack. If I was going to play it. And Font of Mythos. Wow, with a Wheel of Fate. And I got a legendary snake warrior. All right, two thirds of the box is already gone. Looks like I've stalled out just a bit, but uh, all in all, like I'm really happy with this product. Just, just cracking it. Good old Arbor Elf. Sultai Charm, Womp Womp. Ah, uh, Jushi Apprentice. I'm not a big fan of these, like, upside down cards. With a uh, misdirection. And a foil Drog Skull Captain. Love this art. I don't think the value is quite there. So, down to eight packs. Let's see if I can hit one of those super awesome mythics. I'm getting greedy. Gonna move my stack. Starting to pile up on me. Man, look at that set symbol. 17. Diabolic Edict. Still didn't get any uh, Lotus Petals. This is definitely a card you want to keep your eye out on. There's a bobble. Very happy to get a bobble. And this guy was spiking for a while. I'm not sure why. With the Supreme Verdict and Foil Trailblazers boots. Supreme Verdict is a really good pull because of uh, Pioneer. It's a staple in the control decks. This pack does not want to open good. So I am going to take it as a sign. It's weird, like... Flipping through this and seeing like a different set symbol in the right corner for every single card. And then it's weird knowing that I've also like played a lot of these. Sadistic Hypnotist. I think is a rare. And Tempt with Discovery. Archetype of Endurance. Another decent uh, EDH card. It's like I ran a little dry on the Mythics today. So come on, Mythics. I haven't even looked at the, uh, there we go. I haven't looked at uh, the complete card list. There's just so many cards. I got a lot going on. Skull Clamp. Assemble the Legion. My boss. Mage Right Stone. This looks like a combo S kind of commander card. Still looking for the Lotus Petals and good old Mana Crypt. Come on, Mana Crypt. Where are you at? Fareska's Finisher. Stagger Shock was a card I saw a lot of play in Standard. Bajuka Bog. There's a card. Oh, well, we got ourselves a Hurricane. Golty, I know a guy who loved that. 
in the Majorian of Life's Web. Definitely EDH foil card. I will take it. Somebody will want it for sure. Alright, down to four packs. Deep Breeze, Starfish, Child of Night, Built to Smash, Roots, Skyward Eye Profits. There we go. There's a good old altar that's always worth a couple of bucks. And Night Spine Dragon, Chrome Horse, which is garbage, Fate Spinner. This was a card I've seen in a lot of people's EDH decks. I didn't realize it was a rare. Alright, I'm down to three packs. There are some like pretty good cards I remember playing in uh, pre-release and drafts and stuff like this. These look pretty decently built. It'd be nice to uh, actually play this. Explosive Veg. I see Manipulator. And we got ourselves a wall. Char Belcher, which is not worth nothing at all. The Foil Bushwhacker. Bushwhacker is definitely a card I've done a lot of bad things to people with. Inquisitioner's Ox. All right, two packs left. Looks like my mythic pile went, uh, crashed and burned. Crop rotation. This is a card you would like to have foil. Boy, let me tell you, that would be nutty, buddy. The old school Wayfarer. That's a good card. And a black market within Alchemist's Refuge. This is definitely a good edh -y card. Didn't realize it's black market. Uh, I'll put you in a happy land. It's been a while. All right. Last pack. Here we go. Mythic. Calling it now. Calling the mythic now. Days. Breeding pit. Here we go. Bolt. Bolt's always good. Always bolt the bird. Jungle Shrine, and Shakisha the Imposter. I think this was actually one of the pricier rares. Solem, Solem's always good. And another flip card, another... Uh, I think I pulled this one. I think I pulled it like super early out of the packs. I might have put it up because I didn't believe it was worth anything. So, all in all, I didn't get the Mana Crypt. Or any Lotus Petals, but this is like a huge set. But I think I did alright. Can't wait to uh, look up the values of these guys. They're probably going to crash and burn. But I got, I got some good ones. Elish Norn is probably the best Mythic. Fiery Gambit. Lots and lots of foil rares. I started off real hot. Kind of cooled off. Leveler is really cool. I'm still hoping one day somebody will do something with that. Storehouse, got me a good commander, lots of good commander stuff. Well, that's all I got for you guys and girls today. Until next time, thanks.